Hello everyone, Festina here. In this video, we're going to learn about four important functions in Power Apps, which we can use for modifying and deleting records in our data sources. These four functions are update, updative, remove, and removeif. These functions can be used on any data sources, but for our demo purpose, we're going to be using them on a collection. If you would like to learn about the fundamentals of collections, I have added the link of the video in the video description. Make sure to watch it because in this video, we're going to be applying these four functions on a collection. Now let's get started with creating our collection. Here in the add employee data button, I have written a clear collect function. So this is going to create a collection called col employee information. And inside that, we have added multiple employee records. The relevant fields of every record are ID, employee name, department, and age. So now let's go ahead and add these records onto the collection. Let's go ahead and run that. So all of the information got added to our collection. And right now we're going to learn about the update if function. So what update if does is update if is going to update a set of records in a data set based on some conditions and whichever records in the data set satisfy that condition, those records will be updated with whatever fields and values that you mentioned for the updation process. So let's take a look at how that's done. For some reason, they decide that they want to update all the records which have the department as IT as information technology. So let's see how that's done. I'm going to go to this button and in the on select property of the button, we're going to write the update if function. So let's first start with update if. That's going to be the function. And we need to provide the collection or the data source to which we need to make the updates. So in our case, it's going to be col employee information. And the second parameter is the condition. You can provide multiple conditions or you can provide a single condition. So in this case, I'm just going to say department equal to IT. So any records which have the department as IT are going to be updated. And the third parameter is the item. So here I need to mention which particular field I need to update. Also, I need to provide the value that needs to be updated. And how that's done is, as always with records, give in a opening and closing curly brace and close your update if function. Now, inside these curly braces, we need to provide the column or the field to which we're going to make the updates. And in our case, it is department. And after that, I need to provide the value that needs to be updated. And in our case, it's going to be information technology. And that's it. Our updative function is ready. And now let's go ahead and click on update records. So here you can see that all the records which had the department as IT have been updated as information technology right now. This way using updative function, you can update multiple records which satisfy the condition which you provide. And you can also provide the value which needs to be updated on those records. And also, based on a condition which you provide, you can update multiple field values. So all you have to give is inside these curly braces, add in a comma and add in the new field which you would like to update and provide a value for it. So this way, with one condition, you can update multiple column values. So now we're going to take a look at the update function and I'm just going to click this and go back to how it was previously before all those updates. First, we need to know what the update function does. So update function is used for updating an entire record in a data set with a new record which you provide. It's like you completely replace an old record with a new record. So that's what update does. And it is not like update if there you were able to update specific column values. So in update, what happens is you can replace the entire record. And if at all you miss out on some fields, you do not mention the value of some fields, all of those fields go empty in your collection. So we'll see how that is done. Let's go to the on select property of this button and type update. So that's the function name. For our scenario, we're going to assume that Ella Moore from sales department has moved to marketing department. So we need to update the department value of our employee Ella Moore in this collection. In our update function, the first parameter is the collection name. So let's go ahead and mention COL employee information. And I'm giving it a comma. And the second parameter of the update function is where we need to mention the record which we're going to replace. So in our case, we're going to replace Ella Moore's record. So I'm just going to do a lookup in this collection. 
So let's say lookup. And the first parameter of lookup is the data source, wherein we need to do the lookup. And we're going to say col employee information because that's our collection. And next, we need to provide the condition. And in this case, I'm just going to compare the ID of this person. So let's say ID equal to 57568. So that is Ella Moore's ID. And next, I'm going to give in a comma. And here you can see that it is mentioned as new. So I need to provide the new record, which we need to replace with the existing record. And for that, let's go ahead and give a opening and closing curly brace. And with that, I'm going to close this update function. So here I have added Ella Moore's information, the entire record of how I would like that to be right now after the update. Now let's go ahead and click on the update record button. So I'm clicking on that and you can see that Ella Moore's department has changed from sales to marketing. Using the update function, we have updated this. A very important point about the update function is that if at all you have missed out on some property values, they are going to be blank in your collection. So for example, let's say that I forgot to provide the age of Ella and I forgot to provide the name of Ella. I've just provided the ID and department and I'm going to do an update right now. So once I do that, you can see that the employee name and the age of this person goes blank. So always make sure to add all the field values when you are using an update function because it is not like update if where you are able to update specific field values and retain the existing values which you did not provide. So another point about update is that you're given a comma, you see the last parameter. This is not mandatory. This is an optional parameter. So remove flags.all and remove flags.first are the options that you have. So why this is provided is, let us say that your collection has duplicate records. Collections have the possibility of having duplicate records. And you want your update to be applied to all the duplicate records. So when I say duplicate, the entire record has to be an exact copy of each other. So in that case, when you want to update those records, you need to set this flag as remove flags.all. So once I give it like this, if I'm having multiple records which are similar to the one which I want to update, then all of those records will be updated. Or if you just want to update the first record, you don't have to give anything. You just can leave this parameter out of it. It is not mandatory. So that is all about the update function. And next, we're going to learn about the remove if function. If you understood the update if function, understanding the remove if function is very easy. So what remove if function does is it's going to remove records from a data set, whichever satisfy the conditions which you provide. So remove if certain conditions are satisfied. That is what it pretty much means. Now, let us go back to how this list used to be. So I'm clicking on add employees data again. In this case, let's say that we would like to remove all the employees who are part of the sales department. So we're going to write a function for that. Let's go to the on select property of this button and let's say remove if. And the first parameter is the name of the collection. So COL employee information. And the second one is the condition. And in our case, I'm just going to say department equal to sales. That's it. So I'm going to close this. And let's go ahead and click on this button. And here you go. All the records which had department as sales have been removed from this collection. In the remove if function, there is a possibility for you to add multiple conditions. So for example, let's say right now that I want to remove all the records which have the department as IT and people who are above 40 years. I want to remove those records. So we're going to go ahead and write those two conditions in this remove function. So let's go to department and say IT. That's my first condition. And then I'm going to talk about the age. So let's say age greater than 40. That's it. So we have provided two conditions over here. And whichever records satisfy this, we will be able to remove those records. So you can see that there are three people from IT and one of them is above 40 years. Now we need to see that Ava Davis's record is removed from this list. Now let's go ahead and click on remove records. You can see that Ava's record got removed from this collection. So it is possible for you to add multiple conditions when it comes to remove if. And you just need to keep adding commas and add your conditions. Now let's learn about the remove function. Now I'm going to set this collection back to the defaults 
just how it was before the data manipulations and for this particular example i'm going to add a couple more records which are duplicate so that we can take a look at the remove flags dot all in this scenario i have added emma brown's records multiple times in this data set this is just an example of course you're not going to do that in employees data in real time now let's take a look at the remove function so the remove function is used for removing a specific record or multiple records from the data source. In the on select property of this button, I'm going to write the remove function. So let's say remove and let's mention the data source from which we're going to remove it. In this case, it's going to be a collection. Let's say COL employee information. And next, we need to mention the item that needs to be removed from this list. So in our case, let's say that I want to remove Emma Brown's record from this list. So I'm going to do a lookup on this list. And in the first parameter of lookup, I need to give the data set in which I'm going to do the lookup. So just giving in the name of the collection. And next, I'm going to mention the condition for looking up the item. And maybe we can say ID equal to 57345, which is Emma Brown's ID. And that's it. We're going to remove this record. And right now, you can see that I have not given the third parameter. It is just optional. And here you can see that there are four records with the name Emma Brown. And once I click on this, you will see that the top item gets removed. And still there are three more duplicates on this list. So what I can do is now I'm going to set the remove flags parameter so that all the duplicates from this list with the condition which we provide are removed. So now you can see that there are three records with Emma Brown's name. And now when I click on remove record, you can see that all three are removed at a go. This way you can use remove flags.all for removing particular record and also its duplicates. And another one which I would like to demo is that you can actually provide multiple conditions for removing items. So here is an example of how we can use remove for removing multiple items based on different conditions. The first record which I'm going to remove has the employee name as John Smith. And the second record which I would like to remove has the employee name as Liam Miller. Now when I click on remove record, the first two records of this collection must be removed. Let's go ahead and try that. So I'm clicking on that and you can see that those two records are gone. That's it about the remove function. If you enjoyed this video and if you feel like you have learned something out of it, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified on all the upcoming videos.